What's up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to another FIFA 17 Ultimate Team Player Review. Let's take a look at third in form Carrasco. So, Yannick Carrasco is 88 rated. He plays for Atletico Madrid in La Liga. And he's got 93 pace, 92 dribbling, 89 shooting and 86 passing. He is of course 5 foot 11 with high medium work rates, right footed with 4 star skills and weak foot. And I've got to say, that looks like one classy item on this game. So moving into a couple of different squad options that you could use the Belgian in. The first one would be this. It's a false nine with some pretty special players such as the new 90 rated Isco. Wants to watch Mane and premium SBC Torres who is of course his teammate. But I actually used Carrasco more in a team like this which is a uh, full La Liga side featuring players such as Inform Casemiro, SBC Suarez and once again that new 90 rated Isco. Looks like a great team. So moving on in to the in-game stats for the Belgian. Well, this is his third special item and he's also received a ratings refresh upgrade too. So we're expecting some pretty decent stats in-game. And even on basic chemistry style, you've got the likes of 96 positioning and 90 finishing on this item. It's looking quite tasty, but I decided today I, I was happy with the pace and the dribbling that he's already got. Let's try and boost that shooting and also the physical because I wanted to see if boosting him up to 77 strength in game would actually help us and would actually be useful for us uh, because obviously he's not the tallest of strikers and a little bit of help with the, with the strength here and there might go a long way. Unfortunately, I can report that it, it didn't really. <laughs> Unfortunately, it just seemed that no matter what I did, this Carrasco was going to be a very weak player. Um, and that is one of the main negatives that, you, that I've got for him is that one, he's not very tall. So don't obviously expect anything... Uh, in terms of like aerial contributions, but that's not the type of player that he is But I was hoping that the chemistry style would help boost that strength somewhat And it just seemed that I was gonna get pushed off the ball no matter what um, And then the final negative that I have for him is that Even though I scored a lot of goals with him It took me quite a lot of opportunities to actually get the goals now don't get me wrong He would get into these great opportunities to take the shots but his composure in front of goal let me down somewhat for what a, well, for, for an 88 rated player. I was kind of hoping for something a little bit better. But don't get me wrong, this is not a negative player of you. Because we still did very well with the Atletico player. And he's a fun player to use in this game. I might just suggest that he wouldn't really feel much different to his previous inform. I guess that's another slight negative on the player. But moving on into the positives... The first thing you notice is just how quick he is. Uh, he's got incredible sprint speed. Like, getting him up to speed with his acceleration is decent. But when he is on the run, just try and catch him. It's crazy how quick he is. Uh, and alongside that, he has got great agility. And also, fantastic ball control and dribbling on this game. What I also found about Yannick Carrasco was that, well... Very well positioned, uh, high positioning in-game stat. And then just great in attacking areas where he was always popping up right space, right time in order to get that ball. You know, he takes the good first touch because he got the good stats in those areas too. And then he can start going on a run. Start running at those defenders and really, really terrifying them uh, with just how quick and stuff he is on the ball. Also, you get a, a good team player in, in Carrasco because let's face it, not only has he got good pace, dribbling and shooting... But his passing stats there as well, you know, I'm talking good vision and ability to slot those balls through to an on-running striker who's, who can then just, you know, stick the ball into the back of the net and score. Uh, but what I think I was most impressed with and, the, and what shocked me the most about this guy is that his left foot was unreal. I think I might have nearly scored more goals with his weak foot than I did with his strong. I think obviously because he plays out on the left hand side, I like to hit the low driven shots, um, you know, past the goalkeeper, across goal and if you're, if you're a player on the left hand side, I'm probably going to be using your left foot and I wasn't expecting as many of those shots to go in as they did. It almost felt like a five star weak foot for me so definitely don't be afraid 
to use that good weak foot with Yannick Carrasco. Now, finally, the shot power. That's that's the other thing which makes the shooting great uh, and his goals go in, you know, quite nicely uh, because he has got extremely high shot power. For such a little guy, he definitely packs a punch. And uh, overall, I can say it was an enjoyable experience using this guy uh, and I look forward to hopefully more uh, special items in the future because I think with a couple more boosts in a couple different areas, you could have a next level player on this game. So there you go, guys. I hope you now know whether or not the Belgium is right for your ultimate team. Let me know if you've used him and what you think of him down below in that comment section. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Peace.